Good afternoon. Uh, hope everyone is well. I just want to thank the media for their attendance and presence this afternoon. Um, I would also like to thank uh, Perak FC for having this media press conference in conjunction with the new season of the Super League 2021. This press conference is very important for Perak FC and for myself to clear the air for the rumours that have been circulating these past few days. I would also like to confirm what has been said by YB Sheryl as director of Perak FC, that Perak FC and I have discussed mutual agreement to the end of my future as head coach of Perak FC earlier. It is very sad and unfortunate for both parties to reach to such a decision which is invertible. I am grateful for the understanding of the past of Perak FC to allow me to sort out my personal problems and issues back home in Australia. I want to say that I have no regrets and I, in fact, very happy to have coached Perak FC for the last four seasons. I will forever cherish these moments and my players to Perak FC in their future development. Look, I'll be really, really honest. Uh, I've had four very, very good years in Perak FC. Um, Perak FC have been like a family to me. Uh, I've won the Malaysia Cup, reached the final of FA Cup, went to AFC, um, came second, came third, came fourth. So the achievements that I've had at Perak, um, I'm very, very happy and very grateful to all my players, my staff, my coaching staff. Um, but I have to be honest, uh, the last year uh, with COVID hasn't been easy for me. Um, last year I've been by myself without my family. Uh, it was a bit hard. And again this year, so look, at, at the end of the day, uh, mentally, physically, um, and also uh, family uh, uh, discussions, I think it's time for me to head back and uh, look after my family. I know it's not easy, but uh, I want to thank Perak uh, FC for uh, allowing me to go back because uh, it, it's not easy. It's not an easy decision that I had to make. Uh, I will miss Perak FC. They've been like a family to me. Um, but unfortunately, uh, family comes first. And uh, at the moment, uh, I'm really struggling without my family. So, yeah, it's it's... Very, uh, very emotional times for me. Uh, I love Perak. Uh, hopefully I've done a good job for them, for the supporters, for the management, especially for my players and my coaching staff. I want to thank them very much because uh, we've had some wonderful years in Perak for the last four years. You, don't you think that it's a long time to live? Two weeks more to before this time. Uh, we've discussed, we've discussed everything, absolutely, but look, at, at the end of the day, um, I think, uh, you know, um, this is the best outcome. Uh, if I keep on going, keep on going, it's only going to get worse, to be quite honest. Uh, I've got some family matters that I have to attend in Australia, and, uh, you know, uh, Perak FC have allowed me to, to do that, and, uh, yeah, I'm very thankful to them. It's not easy. It's it's not easy. No, mutual agreement is shaking hands and uh, between us to say uh, thank you. But uh, yeah, we will uh, see what happens later on. So definitely not uh, nothing to do what getting uh, late payment, late, late pay, you know, because of that. 
No, it's got nothing to do with late payments or or, or salaries or anything. Uh, no, it's not. It's at the end of the day, um, like I said, I've got uh, a few family issues that I got to sort out back home, and uh, um, my family means everything to me, and. Uh,